Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, I'm trying to increase my arsenal of Deku what ifs, because I mostly do Naruto what ifs. So, now, this is a what if Naruto, I mean what if Deku had a karma seal. Now, but Koko, that's two different universes. How the hell are you gonna incorporate the karma seal within the goddamn my hero universe? That makes no sense. Well, you can do it as a quirk. I'm like, huh? You'll find that out later. All right. Now, let's get into it. Through the Naruto universe, a squad of Otsutsuki are finding other planet to absorb. But one of them decide to leave as they're tired of walking in a, a, a path just for power every time. The same planets, not the same place, but just they're bored. So. They decide to leave the group. They were exploring the universe by themselves. Kind of bored, but it was already like that before he left. Until a black a black hole just appeared out of nowhere, sucking the Yotsutsuki in, as he had no time to react. Once out of this black hole, the Yotsutsuki, well, focusing, well, basically in his conscience, would have then got up. Surveying the area, trees. He do assume this is a forest, like, bruh, obviously. So then, he would have floated. He would have floated up into the air. From doing that, he would have seen a city, different from what he's seen on other planets. He doesn't think that he's in the right universe, as he's no way. No one, no Exusuki has ever done this before, as. Now, this city, well, I'm just calling it that. This area, it looks so high tech, but not like the Otsutsuki, but looks better, but downgraded of how we do things. So then, he would have gone intangible, so nobody can really see him. Serving the area, seeing what does this world have to offer, he can sense that everybody has chakra, but it's been locked behind a gate-type barrier. He sees people walk around with deformed bodies, or people in the sky flying, fighting each other. He would then look at a TV station. They would have been broadcasting saying that this percentage of the world has got quirks and this other percentage of the world does not have quirks. Soon in a later future, there will be a world where people all have quirks as the percentage of people that don't have quirks is going down, but slowly. So then, he would assume that quirks are power and these quirks or non-quirks are these hard gates that are blocking. But then he hear the word about all for one and well, all might. He would hear that all for one is this villain that was able to take quirks and steal them. And one for ah, uh, and all might is the basically the hero. Hmm, interesting. A villain and a hero, huh? Such a cliche world. Like that you'll hear in a child's story. Alright then, I should make I should survey the area a bit more before making my move. He would have then basically regened him well not regen, but like he got cut by one flying up because he like the um lamp poles or whatever. He didn't really focus on that and he got cut. It made a noise. Well, he hit his head, alright? And he comes up, alright? I'm just trying to display his regenerative abilities and his, re his um regenerative powers, alright? Like, dang, bro, dang. Anyways, so now, the Otsutsuki is flying on the area. And he decides now that 
even though he doesn't have a partner, he know he's he knows that there's an other way to make a divine tree. So then he would have start the process. The world would have started shaking as helicopters, news reporters would have been flying around seeing this big huge fruit pop out of the ground and a white figure in white clothing floating above. Hear me you earthlings, you humans, quirked people. Surrender now or you'll face consequences. As soon you will all die. So there's no point in fighting back. This time it would have taken a longer process, like a couple days, to even like absorb the fruit as this world's chakra is also on like a it's like I said, it's like a gate. A really hard gate that cannot be broken. Nobody can break it. Nobody. I'm like, I'm just saying. Not even the Osuski can break it, alright? Well, he can break it if he wanted to. But like, that would take work. That would take time. But like, I'm just saying. Nobody in this world. Everybody has chakra, right? But nobody. Like, if they lose chakra, it will not affect them, okay? But it's just that. It's a huge. Their quirks. Or just being born in this world. Um. They cannot use it. They'll never be able to get it. If you think somebody can get it, there's no D and D where you can roll a 99 at 99 and be like, "All right, unlock my chakra." Fail. That's like it's an insta fail. All right. Anyways, so then now the Otsutsuki, he would have been pretty bored. So, of course, he would have still been on a rampage, taking human lives. This would somewhat upgrade, like somewhat make the process go faster but he wouldn't really know this now all for one would have actually been interested within this with this being of course as he just had his fight with all my like i say like a couple probably like a couple months ago yeah a couple months ago and now all my he's he's like he's going through the stages of about to be like like no like okay i'm putting it where all my he suffered the damage from all for one right but the thing is that it's slowly about to put him into the state where we know from canon, alright? Even all men would have been interested in this being. So then all for one, he would have walked up to, well, use his any type of quirk, like a, like a flying, he would use like a flying quirk. The flap to his being, like, hmm. I don't know who you are, but you intrigue me. It's a quirk that you have. I know what quirks are, but to know, I don't have this thing that you call quirks. It seems like it's a borrowed power from a family bloodline that's just mixed, if you think about it. But I don't know what this thing you call quirks is, but all I can say is this world will be my fruit. Blah. This world would be my source of power once I finish absorbing it all. Now, you already know this, the U.S. military has to get involved with this. So then, the World Peace Organization, everything pronounced that correctly, we have gotten together to figure out how to deal with this menace. As they can't result, they, even though they can't result back to using nuclear warfare, they would have to break that treaty. As now, the U.S. I'm not sure. I'm not. I never really did anything to see what's one of the U.S.'s strongest nukes. But like, uh. All right, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, they would have just shot. They would uh, evacuate Japan, and they would try shooting now one of its most powerful nukes on to Naruto. As Naruto was actually trying to figure out where all they at, and he's basically in the middle of the ocean. Ne well, he's in the ocean, floating above, but near Japan. All right, so. They just drop this nuke on him, like Naruto would be like, I mean, the Otsutsuki would be like, what the? But then an explosion would happen. The Otsutsuki would have been damaged a bit, but he would have been quite fine, as he did know there's radiation poisoning, but that wouldn't affect him that much, to be honest. He's just gonna, it's not gonna pass by sooner or later. 
The US would have been devastated as this nuke did not do anything. And now they're scared to use a bunch of other nukes at the same time because they don't want to um, populate the ozone layer with um, irradiation or whatever. That's what uh, they didn't know that why they stopped using nukes is because that they did, they were scared that they were going to um, basically make the earth a uh, wasteland because of the radiation and all that. That's why. Anyways, now, the Otsutsuki, he basically had enough. And so, he went down to, well, the World Peace Organization and almost killed everybody there. Not the presidents, okay? Of course, not the presidents of the countries, like, but he killed a lot of people. So, they're getting quirked, they're getting quirked people involved. Every high-ranking hero from every state of the country, the United States of America, Alabama, you already know they got that inbreeding over there. Yeah, they got that powerful crowd. Go, oh, let's tell them, let's tell them, let's tell them. Everywhere, even Japan. The all for one hub would have been just watching this, as he would love to help because, like, he's not trying to get his world destroyed, of course, but he would like to see all my die though. But he also thinking that I, he should help temporarily. So then he would have gotten the League of Villains to actually come help. He would have gotten they would have started up a hero um a hero organization just to like stop this menace. That's all about this menace. Now all for one of actually invade saying I'm only here to help temporarily. As if we don't work together, then our whole world will turn into a giant plumped fruit. Why? Of course, I have actually made contact with this being. He calls himself an old Tutsutsuki, of course. And now this divine tree, where the information I've got out of him, that this divine, this he called it a divine tree, he's basically sucking the life force out of everybody and turns it into his fruit that he calls Chakra. And so then, he's going to eat it and we'll basically all be dead. Now, what shall we do with this, alright? We, we need to, we need to work together. I don't, I don't care heroes and villains. Let's just work together. Now, the, the everybody there would have been like, oh, uh, uh, alpha ones. I stuck, um, yeah, like villains would have started also coming together temporarily to face off against this old Sutsuki. Now, he would have gone, this old Sutsuki would have gone back to Japan as people thought that he was gone. But once they re-evacuated back into the city, they were living a peaceful, uh, not that peaceful, but I guess like uh, two days later, the old Sutsuki would have came back like, all right, I'm back. But there would also be heroes and villains waiting for them. A combined effort of both heroes and villains here right now to take down this Osutsuki. Now, they would both lunge at the Osutsuki, shooting any type of power that they have, or like some type of wood power, fire power, and Endeavor would even be there too. Even all for one and all my working together to make a combined smash into into this Osutsuki as. They're basically the Naruto and Sasuke of this universe, but, you know, villain and hero, alright? It's Utsutsuki, but annoyed, as he knows that these guys are weak, but he's not really on his guard that much. So then, they would have they would have made a combined effort, people with, like, blasting, whatever, um, all for, I mean, all for one, and all my, would have both go beyond their limits, and be in this punch of Utsutsuki so hard, People shooting all their attacks at the same time, being able to about to kill this Otsutsuki. This Otsutsuki would then land, but then send like a like land on the floor. It send and like shoot something out of his hand from shooting it. This would blast away. And so then, this blast, it would have been searching for something, something just to like take over like a body. And so then it would have landed on Deku. Deku would have been running with his mom, Inko, but he would have got shot by this blast, falling over. Inko would just pick him up, assuming that he's this tired, and they would evacuate. This old Sutsuki, the Otsutsuki body, it would have then shivered up as 
they try to get a DNA sample, but it was just a tiny bit. It's not enough to experiment not experiment on, so they can't really get any information out of this Otsutsuki from its blood. And that was the end. Now, yes, All Might and All For One did get damaged a lot, but I'm going to put them at their state where they were in canon. A couple years passed. Deku, he would have said that, well, mm, he was young. He was really young at that time, so um, how should I say it? Alright, so we already know that he's quirkless, yada yada, park. Alright, let's go to the park as well. Years, now a couple years more. A couple years later, they could have been at the park with Bakugo and his friends. So called friends. They would have been, well, not playing around because basically Bakugo was always bullying Deku. He would have pushed them back as he said, hmm. I'll be able to beat both of you guys and then become the strongest hero. You will never be able to stop me, Deku. You will never be able to get past me, quirkless loser. Midoriya, or I'm just saying Deku, he would have been not taking Bakugo and punched him in the face, saying him flying, as he is surprised that from sticking up to Bakugo, he had this much strength within him. But. Bakugo would have been not that like he he got punched but like he ain't giving him now. He would launch at Deku with an explosion to the face, but Deku he would have this something would grow like a, something would grow from his arm, and like a horn would appear. Not no I shouldn't I shouldn't give him the horn yet but like yeah something like that would have, mm, but the horn already comes of it though. Never mind all right something would appear from his arm and it then. A horn would appear. He would dodge um, Bakugo's explosion and then punch him into a tree, hurting him severely. As remember, they're young. Bakugo's goons would take Bakugo and ran away, as they don't want to mess with Deku anymore. Deku, not sure what's going on, he would then break control of what, what was just happening just now. But you look at the kid, the kid would have been so scared that. He ran away. So then now, throughout Deku's life, he would have been a loner, not talking to anybody, not trying to make friends, as now he's slowly, slowly falling into this deep, deep depression, as even if he does try to make friends, nobody really listens to him. Even Bakugo, he's so scared that he doesn't even bully him anymore. He doesn't seem as a target anymore, but he's still jealous that he was actually able to do that. So then, now, from later on in his life, Deku, he would have decided that it's like he can't live like this anymore. Bakugo would sometimes, well, in their high school years now, he would then sometimes occasionally bully Deku. As Deku doesn't seem to that activate that power from long ago. So then Deku, he'd have walked up to the rooftop. From doing that, he'd have climbed the fence in his arms in a pointing in a pointing direction, saying, I can finally leave this life behind. I'm tired of it. I don't want to live like this anymore. Mom. I'm sorry. And even though I never seen my dad because my dad went to the milk store. I'm sorry. Deku will then just let go of everything, feeling detached from his body. But then something new would happen. He would then grab back onto the fence, climb back over, and then the Asutsuki that died last time would have would have been breathing heavily. <sighs> Finally, control of this body at last. It took forever, but it was worth it. <clears throat> Alright. This kid tried to commit suicide, huh? Interesting. Now that I'm within this host body, I should this I should live like this for now. Make them move later in the future. For now, I need to fix this kid's reputation. Uh, can live like this? A loner? Hell no. So now 
Deku with a well the Osutsuki, just no name Osutsuki, well Deku Widow changes his appearance a bit. Actually kinda like you know, trying to, not trying to show off, but like he's doing something different with himself. With himself. Not his hairstyle or anything like that. He's gonna be a smart boy we all, we all know and love, but like, yeah. Now, Bakugo will actually notice his difference, but like, you damn twerp. Hey, Phineas and Ferb reference. No, wait. Twerp. I think, yeah, I think it was, yeah. That's the Phineas and Ferb reference. You damn twerp. You think you just come in here and change your personality like that? <laughs> I'll be easily able to beat you. Well, probably. Oh, Bakugo, Bakugo, Bakugo. When will you shut up with this time you're gonna beat me? Remember when we were younger? Younger, my ass. <laughs> that was just a little power boost you got. You would never be able to achieve that again, as I've been bullying you non stop. And you weren't able to stick up to me like that when we were younger. How do you think you're really gonna keep that power again? Oh, Bakugo. Are you sure? Wanna play with me? Deku would have then showed his hand, and then the marks from last time would start growing. Bakugo would have got this got these flashbacks and he would he would step away in shock. People would have wondering, is Deku really really sticking with the Bakugo like that? Bakugo's so scared. Look at him, he's so scared! <laughs> They would all been looking down at Bakugo. Bakugo would have ran out with his goons as he he's not trying to get beat up like he did last time. And they're in the lunchroom. This is no place to get beat up. Deku, well, the Ozuski, but felt pleased with himself. Changing this little boy's reputation. It feels nice as he still has the goal of taking over this planet as Last time he should have he should have used his second form. If he did it, he wouldn't have died. I knew these humans were weak. These quirks, but they work together, huh? <sighs> Only for which my second form. It would have been an easy match to molly you up all of them out. I was just holding back, I was being too cocky. Now the Deku would have gone back up to class and the teacher would have been te teaching the class about how the heroes and villains actually came together to help defeat a certain threat. This thing called the Otsutsuki. Today class, we're going to be learning about the Otsutsuki that invaded our planet and how All for One and All Might work together to destroy this menace. Being able, you know, now we're able to all stay here. And yeah. So, basically, how it started, he came to the earth, first, we don't know how, and he put some tree down. A really huge tree called the Divine Tree. Um, I'm not sure what it was for, but if you turn your page to chapter 45, he'll probably tell you. Um, teacher, it was actually called the uh, Divine Fruit within the tree, and this fruit was supposed to give this power give the Otsutsuki immense power from this thing he called the chakra fruit. Deku has to play it off as like he's a human as he knows that if he's, he's acting too sussy they're gonna catch on. What a good Deku. Huh. I'm surprised you even know this. Alright then. So then class would continue as normal. And now it's the end of the day. From the end of the day Deku would have been walking home. Now, from walking home, something would have been banging on the sewer drain. Not the sewer drain, but like on the sewer um cover. And it's a slug, like a slug slimy creature would have been popped out. He would have been gargling, saying, Give me your body! He would rush at Deku, trying to take over his body. But Deku would only raise his, raise his, raise his arm up, and this being would stop. He's frozen in space. He couldn't move. Hmm. <clears throat> you think you can really come up to me and think you can take my body? <laughs> uh, that's what I did to some other little kid. Some little kid, but you really think you can do that to me? <laughs> From crossing my path. 
I'll make sure you die. The first villain tried to scream, but his screams could not be answered. He would have then started absorbing the chakra from the slug, the slug villain, the sludge villain, and turn it into these little beads. Well, not these little, these little balls, and he would eat it. As now, the sludge villain would start just decomposing and, well, not yeah, decomposing and just dying. All that would appear. Like what? What the heck? Ugh. This is a villain? Did you do this? Uh, yeah, I did this. He tried to take my body. Oh, um, alright then. Thank you. But then Deku's primal instincts would would kick in. Wait, All Might? Why am I acting like this? Oh yeah, that killed the fanboy of All Might. Alright then. Oh, All Might, can I get, can I get an autograph? Sir, I'll give you an autograph. Uh, just look in your notebook. No way! He would then jump away with this shriveled up slug villain, but Deku would just grab on for no reason. They would then just start flying in the air. Oh my god, like, let go! I'm gonna die! Wait, I'm not gonna die, I'm gonna float. They would then land on a building, but then he would turn into a small mite. Like, huh. I thought you were an all my you. Poser. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Alright, let me explain something to you. Back then, I when I felt all for one, he punched me in my arteries. So then it's it basically reduced my my um my uh all oh, my buff form. So now I'm pretty much weaker. Deku being all fanboyant, even though he's just playing it out so far. He would say, um, I can heal you. <sighs> Just don't waste your time on me, kid. I've gone to every medical profession, professional, but they were not able to heal me of my injuries. No, seriously, I, I can heal you. Then he walk up to Small Might and touches touches um side. But doing that, his his side would revert back to normal. All Might would have felt so. Refresh, healthy. I feel like he has his power when he's back in his prime, but times that by two. All Might would have felt ecstatic as knowing that he has his power back again. He can do his hero work like how he used to do. More than just a couple hours, he would then start thanking the boy, saying, "Hey kid, you want my power? I transfer to you." You show me real signs of a hero in you. If you take this, well, you you can become my successor. Deku would refuse, as he's not trying to take power from All Might, of course. And now that he has his power, he is basically basically doesn't really need a successor. But yeah. So then, All Might would just give it to um some someone else, and I'll tell you that later now the next day Baku would actually leave the school as this is before the um it's there's basically about to graduate Kirishima would actually take Baku's place as Kirishima was just moving into the neighborhood to get closer of course now Kirishima and Deku actually headed off to become best friends no cap and so then uh, a couple days later like a week and uh yeah so it's the last day of school and everybody's getting their quirks. No, everybody's everybody is getting their papers for UA. Now, Deku, he, he, he knows he would have said Kirishima, no cap. Everybody was like, oh, I de we definitely know them two are gonna get the UA, bro. Let's look how powerful Deku is, bro. I he gave you this full power. This dude, bro, here, yeah. he manly. I know that. Yes, I. Yes, I. He's talking like that. I'm sorry, that's not a character for me. But that's he's he's a really strong dude, no cap, bro. He broke through my hardening quirk. For real? Says. And yeah. So now Deku would bring Kirishima to All Might. And I'll leave it off here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. 
And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.